Song-specific patches provide a simple way to accurately replicate all the sounds and parts of the original song and are designed to use in Sunday Keys, our all-in-one solution for live worship keys. All the complex programming is done for you, so your left hand can trigger textures, ambiance, and sequences, while your right hand is still free to cover the most prominent parts, like pianos, leads, and pads. Intuitive song sections are pre-programmed to ensure seamless, dynamic transitions. For this tutorial, we'll use the song's original key and tempo, but you can easily adjust these within the patch if needed. In this video, you'll learn how to play Emmanuel using the song-specific patch from Sunday Sounds. We'll explore the parts, riffs, and sounds you need to play it live with confidence. Ready? Let's go. This patch has piano, pads, organ, bass, strings, all triggered in the left hand range, which stretches from here to here. In the upper left hand range, you just have piano. From this key to this key and then that continues up for right hand. So your right hand will play piano chords and leads throughout the song. Then in song section three, you'll hear a string lead come in from this key up to this key. So this song actually modulates a couple of times from the original key. So the song starts in D and then it moves up a half step to E flat and then up another half step to E. And so for this reason, we've included three different patches for the song. So if your band is playing this like the original recording and you're modulating, you can go ahead and do it like I'm doing it and I will walk you through exactly how I'm doing all these modulations or you can check out the demo. Um, or you can stay in just the original key and do the whole song that way if you're not modulating. So like the original recording, you will start with this first patch in the key of D or whichever key you're choosing to play it in. We'll start with song section two. And you'll use that for your intro, chorus, and refrain. Song section one will be for your verse and your down refrain. And then song section three for your big chorus. Now as you progress through the other two patches, you'll see that the song sections are actually reversed if you're using this patch inside the app. So that when you move through the modulations, it's at a very big part of the song. And so then you'll be able to start right in with all of the big parts. And then same thing when you modulate to E. But you can always move it back down as well so that you have less sounds coming in. For the intro, you'll use song section two. So first I'll go ahead and play it hands together. Okay, so this starts with the octave, little melody. So this is how I play the first two bars. Okay, so this is a C major nine chord. And I like to play this first two keys with my thumb. Okay, then for our second chord, which is D, I like to play it down lower. Okay, hands together now. Okay, so a similar part comes back later in the refrain. So for the refrain, I play it really similarly, except I keep the right hand up instead of coming all the way back down for the D major chord. I just play a chord up high. So let me show you how I like to do this first refrain. Okay. 
Okay, so mostly the same, just keeping right hand up high. So then I'm just playing that D major chord like this. And that little lead in there. All right, there's also a refrain at the end of the song. And at the very end of the song, I'm now in a new key. I'm in the key of E, if you're playing this in the original version. And so now, instead of a C major nine chord to a D chord, we've got D major nine chord to E. And so I play this really similarly. It's just been transposed now. So this chord looks like this. Okay. Feel free to simplify it if you want, like you could do this octave. the verse at the start of the song will be in the key of D and we'll be using song section one. So for this verse I'm mostly playing chords. I'm adding in little melodic riffs here and there that I like. So as you listen to the original recording you might hear little melodic ideas that stick out that you'd like to do or maybe you want to keep it more simple just play chords. Maybe you want to add in more things. You have the piano and this little light lead all the way up the keyboard. So feel free to do it however you'd like. I'm just going to go ahead and show you how I like to do it. And I will walk you through the chords. Now I'm not going to break down any of the music theory about how to build these chords. I'm just going to kind of tell you what the chord is in the original key and then show you how I like to voice it. All right, so here's the verse, hands together. I'll play it through first and then I will break down the chords a little bit more. So to start out with this verse, I'm going to start on the D chord and hold that for two bars. All right, then we have F sharp minor seven. And then on the end of four, I like to add in a little note. Now our next chord is going to be a B7 flat 9. Moving into E minor 7. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and play those first four chords together. So two bars of D. F sharp minor 7, B7 
seven flat nine, E minor seven. Okay. Now I'm gonna have a C major two chord. Goes to A major. And on the A major, there's a little riff that I like to do. So it starts on the end of one. One E and a two E and a. And then we have an F sharp seven chord. So here's how this goes together. And then I've got G sharp diminished. goes to C sharp major seven. And then F sharp minor seven. And that B seven flat nine again. To E minor. Now I have an A suspended to A. And then it just kind of walks up. Now just make sure to pay attention where you do these walk-ups because the left hand where some other sounds are being triggered is from this key to this key. So as more sounds are coming in later in the song, you'll just want to be careful that with this kind of walk-up, you go back down. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and play the chords again for that, but I'm going to play them slowly. Now, this verse will come back again later. I play this verse pretty much the same both times. The only thing that I really do differently is right at the start of the verse the second time around, I like this little right hand riff. So here's what this sounds like. Okay, here it is, hands together again. Okay, so at the end of the second verse, you'll move into a big chorus. And while you're holding on that suspension is when I kind of like to start bringing in the additional sounds.
chorus, Yil Yu Song Section 2. And for this first chorus, I'm playing some chords and then adding in some octaves in the right hand. There are many different ways that you could do this. You could do more chords, you could add in more little melodic riffs that you hear going on in the song. This is just how I've chosen to play it and voice the chords. So here I'll go ahead and show you how I like to do it. So I'm playing some chords in the middle of the piano, and then I'm adding some octaves in up higher. So let me show you how I'm doing right hand. So it starts on a D chord. And then it's adding an F sharp minor seven. And then to B minor seven. Now E minor 7, same chord, just there's now an A in the bass, and I like to do this little riff, and then it does this walk up. All right, so we had D major. And then this passing chord through F sharp minor 7 and over to B minor 7 and to E minor 7 and then E minor 7 with A in the bass. Then at the end of this chorus it does go from this E minor 7 over A to A major. before moving into that refrain. Okay, I'll go ahead and show you hands together again how I like to do this chorus. Now for the big chorus, you'll use song section three. This time I do it similarly, but I'm going to play the chords up higher here. And then I'm adding in different octave notes. So I'll go ahead and show you first how I like to play it hands together. Okay, and then from there, I'm going to move towards a key change. So I like to play these chords up higher, so same chords as before. And you can just choose where you like to play them. I don't play them in the exact same spot every single time, but feel free to just play around with it, see where you like the chords sounding the best. 
You can do these melodies up higher if you like that or a little bit lower down. Now the strings start on this key. So if you are playing a little bit lower, you'll have less strings and then the more you play in this range, the more strings you'll have and the higher up. So here's right hand. that it sounds nice with the pedaling if you're able to pedal after you've played that first chord. So I'm letting it kind of fill out as I play that first octave and then kind of pedaling after that. So just kind of mess around with the pedaling too. See how you like the sound the best. Okay and then we'll be modulating to the next key. So if you're playing it like the original recording at this point we are modulating up a half step to E flat. And so here's how I like to do this. So I'll show you from the previous chord, that E minor 7, and then it'll move from the E minor 7, E minor 7 over A, and then the rest of the modulation. So I'll go ahead and start right there in that spot. Okay, so it is a pretty fast transition. So I like to hold out the chord and then switch the patch really quickly. If you possibly have a button on your controller that you can program, you can also do that so that it can be a quick change here. But I like to just release the sounds, change to the next key, and then continue playing. All right, I'll do it one more time, and this next time I will play through your big chorus now in E flat. So you're going to modulate now up to E in a very similar way that we did previously. So I'm going to go ahead and play the big chorus in E flat and then move into E. And then I will play the big chorus in E. Okay, so both of these transitions are very similar. So as I'm transitioning into the key of E flat, it looked like this. Then now I'm playing the chorus in the exact same way. I've just moved up half a step. So let me just go over the chords really quick. So we've got E flat. And then G minor 7. And now C minor 7. Now F minor 7. and then F minor 7 with a B flat in the bass. Okay, and I'm playing those same right hand octaves, just moved up a half step. Now 
as we move into E, the transition is very similar. Just moved up a half step more. So, looks like this. Now you expect it to land on the one on E. However, if you play like the original recording, this last big chorus actually changes the chords. So maybe in your band you end up playing the same chords as earlier. That's fine. I'm going to show you like the original recording. So we've got a bunch of different chords that happen. So I'll go ahead and play it once through here. So this is our big chorus. Now we're in E. So our first chord here is F sharp minor 9. You'll hear it lining up with the vocal melody too. Okay, then we have an E major 9 chord. We have D sharp diminished. Then we have G sharp 7, sharp 5, sharp 9. To C sharp minor 7. Okay, let me show you those chords slowly. So you'll hold the first chord for one bar, and then in the second bar, the first beat, actually there's no chord. So the following three chords go on beats two, three, and four. So it looks like this. Okay, one more time with that. F sharp minor 7. And then F sharp minor 7 over B. Then that resolves to B major. All right, here's this big chorus one more time. I'm going to go ahead and show you now how all the choruses go together, that big mashup of three choruses. So we had a chorus in D moving into a chorus in E flat, moving into a chorus in E with all those transitions.
Head to the link in the description to get this song specific patch to use inside the Sunday Keys app. All the keys audio you've heard in this video was captured straight from the app with no post-processing applied. The app is available for both iPad and Mac. This patch may also be available in other formats. If you'd like to discover more about Sunday Keys, there's a link in the description to learn all about it.